미국은 아무래도 그 LGBTQ, 트랜스젠더나 게이, 레즈비언에게 더 프렌들리하고 그 미국 관객들이 태원 클래스 좋아하는 게 그런 이유 때문인가요? 별에서 온 그대, 도깨비 두 드라마 중에 어떤 게더 좋았나요? 그리고 그 이유가 있나요? Personally, 그 드니스가 제일 좋아하는 한국 드라마는 뭐예요? I really enjoyed Sky Castle. <웃음> 먼저 일단 영어로 어, 자기 소개를 먼저 해주시고. So, um, hi, I'm Denise Kim. I'm a 20-year-old Korean American. I'm currently a third-year junior college student at University of California Riverside. Favorite drama로 이태원 클래스 얘기한 게 굉장히 저한테 interesting 한데. 이태원 클래스가 조금 그 다른 한국 드라마랑 좀 다른 점이 거기에 이제 아프리칸 그 캐릭터가 있고 그 다음에 그 캐릭터가 겪는 레이시즘 한국 내에서의 레이시즘 얘기를 하고 또 거기에 트랜스젠더 캐릭터가 있잖아요 그런 것들이 한국 어디언스한테는 조금 그 불편하게 uncomfortable하게 느껴질 수 있는데 그 미국 관객들이 아마 이태원 클래스 좋아하는 게 그런 이유 때문인가요? 그 미국은 아무래도 그 LGBTQ, 트랜스젠더나 게이, 레즈비언에게 더 프렌들리하고 특히 캘리포니아가 그렇고 레이시즘 문제도 많이 있고 How do they respond to this kind of um, you know, foreigner character and his experience of racism in Korea and transgender character? I think it's one of the reasons why American audiences kind of like the K-dramas because they saw that it was trying to be more progressive especially with the african-american member and um, the transgender character but i also did see a lot of criticisms towards it as well from american audiences that um while it was progressive it wasn't enough some people say it's not enough to like really get the story of like african-american racism or um, transgender struggles so i did hear like good good and bad about it but um I think in general, as a whole, they saw the their attempt, the attempt to be more progressive coming from a Korean drama. That's why people did like it and could kind of relate to it better. 이번 summer course에서 Denise가 제 수업을 들었잖아요. 그래서 우리 수업에서 이제 K-pop, K-drama 이런 얘기들을 했는데 드니스가 아무래도 그 Korean American이니까 다른 학생들보다는 그런 그 한국 culture에 대해서 더 많이 알고 있었을 것 같은데 제 수업을 듣, 듣고서 더 새롭게 배운 내용들이 있어요. About like like um K-drama and like Korean cinema, uh, I really enjoyed learning about like the temporalities of like Korean entertainment. Like I never thought of like thought about like Korean entertainment in a in a perspective of looking at time which was really interesting because from what you've shown us it really shows you like the social context and the background behind the setting of what what's been showing like historical dramas there's like a temporal like a historical temporality which shows like the social context during the time and like how even like right now like modern k-dramas that their temporality like itong class is being a lot more progressive and it's showing like maybe K korean society is becoming more progressive towards different groups like um like lgbt groups and like um african-american groups which i thought was really interesting and um like i also really enjoyed learning about the like the three what was it the obsessions in Korean cinema and like K drama, how there's a lot of similarities, like especially with political dramas like North and South, we see that a lot. And like um I don't think Japanese like colonialism is as popular as it is now, like as it is before. But we do see it sometimes in K dramas today. And also nationalism, of course. I feel like a lot of Korean cinema and K-drama always has a hint of like Korean pride or Korean nationalism, which is really interesting. So yeah, I thought I learned a lot about like, rather than like um, the Korean drama or Korean cinema itself, the background of it, learning about the background was really interesting and knowing the context because it shows it brings so much more information that really brings like um, the whole story into a new light, which I really enjoyed, yeah.
제 수업에서 두 가지 드라마를 어, 자세하게 봤어요 별에서 온 그대, 도깨비 두 드라마 중에 어떤 게더 좋았나요? 그리고 그 이유가 있나요? Personally for me, I really like 도깨비, Goblin um, Even though I did enjoy My Love from the Stars I feel like aspects of it didn't really um, resonate well with me especially with the female character she was very dominant and she was a lot more powerful which a lot of korean dramas i think during the time didn't really have such powerful female characters which i liked about her that she was very assertive and individual but at the same time they also made her kind of unintelligent dumb she was like going off the rock she wasn't stable she was always like emotional she was, very emotional yeah exactly which didn't put her in a very great lie and had to be saved by this alien male character which it was an enjoyable drama but knowing that like how they portrayed her as a character didn't really like resonate with me and in goblin well <laughs> i did enjoy it but the way they um really portrayed the female character as well wasn't really great i think <laughs> especially because she was such a young age she, um i think high school student and she was the romantic interest of some very old alien character which i think to korean audiences in korea wouldn't be such a big deal like it would it's not a big deal age differences isn't uh, such a huge thing but i think as a korean american with like american values it was a little uncomfortable knowing that she was like my age and she was dating a great a grown man which was a little weird but <laughs> but as a whole i did enjoy the drama a lot though <laughs> 그러면은 이젠 좀 personal question 좀 개인적인 질문들 물어보고 싶은데 personally 그 드니스가 제일 좋아하는 한국 드라마는 뭐예요? 아, oh, personally of all time from the top of my head i really enjoyed sky castle because when i watch korean dramas rather than liking like romantic comedy dramas um, i find it very hard to finish those kind of dramas to the end because the way they end the stories is not very satisfying for me so i like more mysterious thrilling um, dramas like sky castle and um, there is also one drama I enjoyed recently called Extracurricular on Netflix that I really enjoy. Netflix is in Gan Suop. Perspective. I don't know how accurate it would be of the Korean education system, but it was just vastly different and maybe shed kind of a light on a Korean, um, the Korean education system compared to America and how Korean youth are facing, like especially with suicidal rates, I think that was really um, reached upon with Sky Castle. And I really enjoyed the social context of it. And with extracurricular, I'm not sure if you watched it, but I watched extracurricular, it. oh yeah, yeah. I like how it wasn't like a conventional love story. It was really morally ambiguous but I liked how it wasn't um, like an unrealistic love story where they're madly in love with each other. And this extracurricular wasn't really about love. It was more like on youth struggles, kind of. The same way like Sky Castle is, it's all about youth struggle and obstacles and how they face those um, issues, even if it's not like um, in a positive way. I think it really, um, yeah, I really like the social context of them. Goblin or My Love from the Stars 같은 경우에는 조금 science fiction fantasy, 그러니까 외계인이랑 사랑하고 이런 Goblin도 어쨌든 supernatural, 그러니까 초현실적인 캐릭터가 나오는데 그 넷플릭스의 인간 수업이나 스카이 캐슬 같은 경우에는 조금 더 realistic한데 그런 비현실적인 사랑이나 romantic comedy나 그런 거 없이 좀 thrilling, 그러니까 thriller 장르에다가 mystery 장르에다 그런 것들이 더 좋았다. 와닿았다 그런 얘기네요. 한국 영화 중에 좋아하는 감독 영화? The most recent I watched was again from Netflix <laughs> because Netflix has always been coming out with so many new Korean dramas and movies. Um, it was called The Call with Park shin Um I think it's really popular right now. Even a lot of my friends are watching it. It's very like thrilling 
and mysterious and psychological thriller which was really interesting i really enjoyed it because it was like the genre that i liked it wasn't really like romance or anything but yeah that was the most recent one i watched <laughs> K-culture, 그런 거에 대해서 어떻게 좀 드는 생각들, 좀 wrapping up thought, 이런 것들이 있어요? So coming from my perspective, because I think my perspective is very different, because I'm Korean American, and my family is Korean, and my, um, my parents especially are very prideful of Korea and like Korean success. Um, I think in general, Korean success in the Western industry has been like really amazing and significant for like the Korean community and the Asian community. I feel like to Western audiences or um, non-Asian people, they don't really see how big of a deal it is, that how successful it is. But I think what um, Korean entertainment has really allowed for is like bringing more awareness to Korean culture and Asian culture as a whole and like um, cultural values and culture itself, especially with K-pop, I feel like tourism has been like skyrocketing, not now, but before it was, but <laughs> tourism um, and just general interest in different cultures, I think, because I feel like people who like K-pop, they started liking the Korean culture and wanted to know more about it and the language but it doesn't really stop there it like lets people to know want to know even more about different cultures as well maybe like Chinese or like Vietnamese or any other language as um so I feel like Korean success isn't exclusively Korean as I said it really brings um everything as a whole as a community I don't know what else to say <laughs> but yeah I think as a whole um it's really been beneficial for not only korean people but for so many different people and it's really allowing for ethnic minorities to have a breakthrough in western industries because we obviously see a lot more korean people in western western films especially we see we always see the inclusion of like asian people now at least like one character or um and I think that's such a big breakthrough compared to what it has before. And I think it'll only become like get it'll only become larger and larger as years go by, which I think is amazing. <laughs> great, great. Um so 오늘 너무 인터뷰 고마웠고 되게 저도 되게 재밌었어요. 많은 oh, 이 어리언스들이 <laughs> 되게 재밌게 들었을 것 같은데 만약에 기회가 되면 시간이 되면 다음번에 한번더 인터뷰 해도 좋을 것 같아요. 그런 미국의 대학생들의 삶이라든가 college lifestyle 아니면 드니스의 high school lifestyle 그런 것들이 되게 더 재밌을 것 같아서 나중에 기회가 되면 한번더 인터뷰할 수 있어요? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would love to. <웃음> okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. 아, 그러면 thank 오늘 you. 여기서 마무리하고 너무 고마워요. <웃음> thank you for having me today. 그 한국 그 Korean origin 그 can you say farewell or say bye to Korean audiences? Uh, goodbye. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope it was very insightful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you.